right everyone, it's Adrian or GM Camulos and this time I'm back with DayZ thanks to one person who commented on my last video um, I think only like maybe two people have seen it but either way Stomping Cub, you said that you wanted me to see more uh, play more DayZ, well that's kind of what I took from it anyway, I mean you basically said that you like the game, uh, you like the play um, so I'm gonna try and give you that now though there is a chance that it may have crashed in fact I think that's highly likely uh, let's have a quick look so it's still loading it could just be my computer I have been doing a lot on it this morning a lot of work um, so let's have a quick look basically um, yesterday morning however I did actually find someone great to play with he really helped me out DKDK DK, um, found me a really good or well, found me on a really good uh, DayZ server the ANZ ones um, now it's really funny because he was originally a uh, bandit well he kills players and he kills bandits so he pretty much just kills everybody but he focuses on bandits from what he's told me if uh, survivor just has really standard basic gear then he does tend to try and leave them alone um, he found me on the ANZ TeamSpeak server uh, and it was just really nice he helped me out a lot and we actually ended up getting some good stuff together uh, there was about seven people on the server we were on and within about 15 minutes we'd had about six bandit kills so whether that was the same sort of person just sort of running back or not who knows but it was pretty good I'm, I'm quite happy about that you know um, so I'm not sure what server I'm playing on at the moment I think it's one of the ANZ ones because it did have a really good latency I'm not sure how long I'll be playing for um, you can see that my computer really just does not like starting up a game of DC once the match sort of begins, it seems to be fine, but it's the time that it takes to really get into the game. I'm not sure if I'm in the world now and I'm about to get shot, or if everything's just sort of starting up. It appears to be night time. I know I closed that door, and it is running horribly. Absolutely horrible. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, this is... This is kind of unplayable, and this happens every now and then with me, I'm not sure why it happens, so, you know what, I probably won't really play much in this, I'm just going to show you what we found, and as, as you can see, I did have some of this gear from the last time, such as the range finder, the silence pistol, GPS, watch, military flashlight, map, um, and night vision goggles, obviously, the MVP saved my life. <laughs> Um, what I didn't have was the M4A1 CCO SD, so silence. What I also didn't know is that then means that I need SD mag. I'm not sure how that works, but I'm going to go with that. I found some of those as well. Found some blood bags. I learned how to, like, use my map, how to use my GPS, uh, <laughs> how to transfuse someone, what the difference between a water bottle and an empty water bottle was, and how to fill it up. He even actually, and this sounds really noobish, he showed me how to use my backpack. Um, and at the moment, it's pretty much just full of food and a bit of ammo. Now, he showed me how to use on oh, a toolbox. Now, he also did show me how to use a tent. Um, but unfortunately, <laughs> I can't really um, do that now. <laughs> and at the same time, I don't have a tent. Um, I am currently, you know what, I'm going to close these doors because I'm paranoid. Close that door. I'm just going to crouch in here, third person it up, just so I can be that Sam Fisher guy again. Yeah, so good. Um, so obviously you can see, although we killed a lot of bandits, I think we also killed one player, but I didn't get the final kill on that, I think DK did. But I'm not a murderer, I'm not a bandit, it's all good. I have just noticed I need something to drink and something to eat, so... Let's... Let's eat... Um, 
beans, favorite home team. Let's drink from the water bottle. Why not? And get the empty water bottle. Uh, that's where I have to do that. I got one slot left. I will put that in the water bottle. Just in case, I might swap that with a blood bag. So I've got three blood bags. That's great news. <laughs> um, close bag. I did find the new bag as well. Um, so the priority that I think it's the Alice bag that we start off with. So I was pretty happy about that. Um, but I do need to try and fix this uh, replica interface. It's just a quick update, obviously, to sort of show you um, what I found how nice it is when you actually have some help from a good DayZ player that surprisingly enough is a bandit that helped me out but he was good, I appreciated the help if you can find a server that's got a TeamSpeak or a, a Ventrilo or anything like that I would suggest jumping on it if you normally do find survivors if people are just talking in the chat in game that say you know come here for such and such chances are from everything that I've experienced and what I've seen it hasn't happened to me yet, luckily, but I have seen players go to that and then just get killed. So, if you're in a team speak and someone's talking, chances are they're sort of going to help a little bit. If they're just talking on the chat, um, I would probably um, not really advise that. Um, but there you can see, I'm at 125, uh, 064. I've learnt now how to use that. Um, let's see if I can turn that to the screen. Yeah, there we go. Wow, this is running so bad. If it looks like it's running bad for you guys, it is running exactly the same for me. Oh, we are well down there. Where are we? 064, so we're back this way, not over there. Ah, uh, there we go. I am. Jurassic 4, 1.5, I am right here, so pretty much on the outskirts, I think I'm like here, maybe, um, I wanted somewhere sort of outside, uh, Chono, not too far, so if I ever sort of jump on and DK here again, I will be able to play with DK and not die, so that pretty much, uh, how my situation is going at the moment, I know how to keep the compass up, how to just look at it, um, yeah, it's really helpful, sort of, the, these are the really small things that a lot of the YouTube videos don't really cover, um, to have that compass always up, if you have on it, it's just right control and M, obviously you've got M for the map, um, with the coordinates there, you can sort of see the three numbers, 0, 6, 4, and 1, 2, 5. Um, if I then bring up the map, you can sort of see it on the uh, GPS there, those three numbers, all you've got in two. Uh, I believe that's for 1, 2, Okay. zoom out, maybe? Yeah, it's in there, so... 0, 5... Okay, so I've read that wrong. Uh, it doesn't really matter. This is basically how. You've got the first three numbers, which are your uh, horizontal, left and right. So up the top here you can see 0, 6, 4. So I know I'm somewhere along this line here. Then I've got 1, 2, 5. This is the vertical. Zero, six, four. There you go. Nice and simple. Once you've got the GPS like this, so a little bit of the uh, sort of in uh, GPS, um, you can see a lot of things like where there's bus stops, vehicles, um, you know, churches, mountains, even. Um, it's pretty good. Um, K for the compass. You just press it once to sort of bring it up. Or you double tap K to sort of have it up indefinitely and then you can sort of move around and stuff as well. But that's pretty much the basics of it. Um, one thing that took me a very long time to actually work out, um, it's the numpad enter to go into a third person. 
So, you know, sort of play to your, your heart content. You then look around with the, the keys. You can't look directly back and you can't obviously look forward. You just sort of let go. So it's just one, four, seven, three, six, and nine to look around. Um, that's pretty much the, the few basic things that no one really taught me until yesterday. And I played a little bit beforehand. Um, keep the gear, um, put stuff into your backpack. Obviously, you click on it, press open bag, and then it's everything that's on the left, you're sort of looking in your backpack. So if it's on the right, you're holding it. If it's on the left, um, then that's what's in your backpack. The numbers up top aren't how many items are in it. So obviously, 0 out of 24 doesn't mean that I've only really got nothing in there, it means I have used up all 24 spots and don't have anything left. So that was one thing that was definitely pointed out while I was getting shown how to use this. Um, and as I said before, if your weapon has SD on the end because it's science, the mags that you need to use are the SD mags. I'm pretty sure you can't move bullets from a non-SD into an SD. Um, I'm not honestly even sure if you can put bullets from one mag into another. You sort of see both of my SD mags there only have like five bullets each in them. So I'm in a bit of trouble and I really do need to go find some more ammo. But yeah, I'm in a bit of trouble. So, oh yeah, the, the M9 SD, um, I, I'm pretty sure I'm out of mags for that. So, yeah, I've got one normal M9 mag um, that won't allow me to use it. So, if I change to the M9, uh, that's I'm all about the farmer. Um, yeah, it's, it's just not reloading at all. So, definitely in a bit of trouble. That's why I'm sort of hiding here and while I'm why I'm staying here. Um, but I think that's all for now. This was just a really quick update on how Day9 was at. Oh, not Day9. Day 9's going great, he's awesome. Check out his videos if you hadn't. Um, this is how Day Z has been progressing for me. Um, once I sort of figure out how the connection, <laughs> or what is holding the connection back at the moment, I think it might just be my net, because I was just playing Call of Duty with the Love Machine and a few other really nice guys. Um, and although he's in America, my bar was flat red. Like, it was pretty bad. I was still getting kills again but I think my KD was on about like 0.6, so it just, it wasn't good. Um, even just playing standard games, like trying to find the best connection, I was still pretty much all yellow. So I'm not sure if that just means that since Mr. Pandaria came out last night, all the people in Australia are playing World of Warcraft and not COD, um, or if there's something wrong with my net today. If that's the case, um, who knows? But thank you guys for watching. If you're Adrian or GM Pamulus, I will endeavor to get more DayZ content out, uh, more Call of Duty content out, just more content in general. Um, I haven't got Borderlands yet, so obviously I can't do anything on that. Uh, I'll probably get that eventually, because uh, Borderlands 1 was great. But this is all for now. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you subscribe, you'll see that I'm putting more content up, um, and that way you can come back and watch it. One thing I would ask you guys watch, and I'll try and put an annotation up uh, in a second. Um, I'll need to try and find this spot, so you know what, I'm just going to start this, uh, this counting one. Um, so basically, if you haven't watched it already, uh, there is one video I want you guys to watch and check for me. Uh, it's a bit of a shameless thing, it is my son, the wonderful, adorable baby hunter who's six months old only has two teeth, uh, he's a redhead unfortunately, but, you know, that's my boy and I love him, um, I don't, honestly don't really care if he's got redhead or not, he's adorable, he gets attacked by bubbles, please go check out that video for me, and leave a comment on it, I don't, I don't care if it's nice or bad, just leave a comment so that I can see that you guys are seeing it, and so that I know annotations are working, it only take five seconds out of your day, I'd really appreciate it if you could do that for me. Otherwise, as I said, Adrian or GM Cameos for like the fourth time now. Thank you for watching, and please take care.